Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am very pleased that there is now the age cap removed for insulin pump coverage and there's coverage for continuous glucose monitoring uh, for, for more people in New Brunswick. This is something that I've been advocating for uh, since before the member uh, for Riverview was the, the health minister um, asking in estimates, asking for when, when these types of things were going to be covered. <clears throat> I, I do have some questions about the income testing uh, and some, some questions about um, what more can be done because frankly we need pharmacare, we need coverage for medications and for medical supplies. There are many people that have to pay out of pocket for things that they require to live. Um, and you know, glucose testing strips would be the next step here. Those are quite expensive. And what happens is that people end up rationing medication, people end up rationing glucose test strips, which has negative impacts on their health. And uh, if we want to talk about preventative health care, helping people have the supplies and the medications they need up front is the, the best thing we can do. And also looking at the upstream impacts of preventative health care, looking at the impacts of poverty, looking at uh, access to food, <laughs> things like that. Uh, but it can be very expensive to have a disability, Mr. Speaker. There are many hidden costs that come with living uh, with many disabilities, and equity can only be achieved when people are not having to pay out of pocket for, for the, the medical supplies, the devices, the medications that they need to live, uh, and in some cases not being able to afford those things and having their quality of life negatively impacted. So while I do applaud this, and this is a very important step, I, I know that there's a whole lot more that needs to be done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.